Welcome back to the sculpture. Today we are starting a new sculpture. We're using water-based clay and I want to use some of the clay that I have left over from the previous sculptures. The Homer Simpson sculpture, I removed brains and now I'm using that for the base of this sculpture. This is not going to have any armatures inside. I've already picked the pose I want. So in order to build a water-based clay, it's best to start from the ground up. That way you can have the weight be supported a little bit stronger and then as it dries up, I'll remove a little bit of the bottom. So this is the torso that I'm building and now I'm going to cut another slice of clay and I'm going to make a few more modifications, add a little bit more width to the torso because I want the sculpture to be a little bit larger. I tend to make sculptures about 15 inches tall. Now I'm separating the legs and I use my paint scraper that does really well in cutting the clay and to make planar shapes, very straight edges. You can get this tool at Home Depot. And now I am going to add the lower legs. If you have a straight block of clay, you can cut it, slice it, and cut all your geometric shapes with it. It really makes it easy. But if you have old clay, as I did when I started, then it's a little bit harder to make these flat shapes. This model is a plus size model. So she has a lot of fat. That means that I'm going to have to use a lot of clay. I'm going to add the lower legs and the lower leg curves a little bit even though the bones are fairly straight they have a curve to them and it's best to accentuate that curve because it makes your sculpture just a little bit more elegant. Now I'm adding the right leg and now that is some of the padding and fat around her stomach. She has quite a few rolls. Right now she looks kind of average, but my goal is to increase the amount of fat. And you shouldn't have, you shouldn't start with tons of clay in the beginning. You want to build a gesture in a, almost like an armature. So essentially a little bit undersized. And as you progress, add a little bit of clay to it. I want to add a little bit more clay. And this time I want to indicate where the breasts are going to be. So I am drawing with my tool some of the anatomy. That way it'll guide me in placing the breasts. And I just cut a chunk out of one of my bags. That way I can place it really quickly. You have to make sure to push it down quite a bit because sometimes when you are doing this, joining two pieces of clay together, if one clay is just slightly harder it won't join properly the clay that i have that i'm adding it's about the same wetness so i'm not going to encounter that issue but keep in mind when you are working with water-based clay you do have to spray it with water and the more watery and moisture it has the more painterly the sculpture is going to be so a lot of people prefer it of a impressionist sort of sculpture and this is the way you would achieve those results by keeping it nice and wet. Use brushes to brush the, the clay around. It's a very fun type of clay medium. I'm surprised more YouTube sculptors don't use it. It's also the cheapest type of clay you can get. I've indicated the head and I'm adding a little bit more to the back. I want to build the back a little bit more. She is leaning slightly, but not too much. It's very subtle. So I'm adding the arms, the left shoulder. I am keeping an eye on it because the level of the left shoulder is just slightly lower than the right. And the way I would measure it is through just the bony landmarks. You can't really rely on the fat or the muscles too much. I would rely more on the bones. 
I like to always go back to my paint scraper in the beginning. I like the sort of uh, surface it creates. And also this gives the direction to the anatomy. If you rely too much on curved tools in the beginning, then the danger is that you don't figure out the direction early on of where the arm is facing, the front of the arm, the sides of the arm. Those are a little bit harder to indicate with the curved tool. You want to use the curved tool for an anatomical landmarks, but not in the beginning. At this point, I'm using a large scraper tool with some texture. This lets me blend everything together. And I tend to use this, and I do like how it looks even with the texture, but the reason I use it is this, so I could blend everything together and push the clay down. Same thing is with this aluminum tool that I'm using. It creates a very distinct texture and it doubles as another way of joining clay. So if I create this texture, I spray with water and then I can attach another piece of clay and it'll create a little bit of a vacuum, almost behaving like a glue when you spray it with water. And I want to indicate a little bit more to the head. She's not going to have a tiny alien head or she might, that would be kind of cool. I don't know, post up in the comments below what kind of theme you would want me to do. I have been wanting to do more obese people, so that's the reason I'm doing this. I wanted to do a wax sculpture and I still want to do that, except I haven't had a lot of time. The wax is much, I would say more time consuming to sculpt and it's mostly a removal, even though you can add the wax if you melt the wax a lot. At this point, I think you're starting to see the gesture form. And I like to work for a few hours, bring out the gesture. And I am using postspace.com for the pose. So you can check out the website, I'm not getting paid. The gesture is almost done i like to let it firm up slightly overnight until i start to make the next additions so i'm going to add just a little bit more clay all around around the neck probably go a little bit oversized with the neck because i want the clay to form up a little bit and then i can remove it and add a little bit more detail one of the things you have to do with water-based clay, of course, is to add a bag over it and moisten your sculpture. That way you can keep working on it. You can do this over and over. It'll last for a very long time. So you just have to get it very secure. That's the end of today's sculpture. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I will be finishing the sculpture. If you guys have any questions, comments, post in the comments below and I will see you in the next sculpture.